before we get into our mace movements, we're going to learn our active grip. So a 10 pound mace, 7 pound mace, whatever you're using, may feel a little bit lighter than, say, exercises you've done in the past. You maybe have used more than 10 pounds before. So to add that challenge into the mace, we add an active grip. So what that's going to look like is anytime we have our two hands on the mace, we're going to be adding either crushing, ripping, twisting, snapping, something that gets more muscles involved. So whether I'm holding the whole mace, half the mace, close together, hands either direction, two hands on the mace equals active grip. So our first active grip is going to be crushing. So that's bringing our hands as if we're bringing the mace, crushing it smaller. Um, without moving my hands on the mace, I'm trying to bring those hands close. My second movement is going to be ripping. I'm trying to rip the mace in half, bringing those hands farther apart without actually moving them on the mace. So rip apart. The next movement is going to be snapping. So this is where if I was holding a stick, I would be trying to snap the mace as if it were splintering forward. I could also do that splintering in, or in any direction, down, up. Um, the main way you're going to use snapping is going to be splintering away and toward. And then our last active position is twisting. So that's going to be as if the mace were a towel and you're wringing the water out of it. So one hand twists back, one twists forward, and I'm trying to twist the water out of the mace. So think about that every time that you have two hands on the mace, you're going to do some sort of active grip. Some movements will be your choice on which active grip you want to use. Other movements will have specific active grips because we want to activate certain muscle groups as we do our movements.